really know why I'm filming this. Um, <laughs> I just film a lot of my life and I don't know. Today I found out that I have lymphoma. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know how to process anything. And I don't want to tell anyone. <laughs> We don't know what kind of lymphoma or what stage it's at, um, but I don't know. I just don't know what to think or what to do, really. I always talk about filming major life moments and I guess this is one of them. I feel like I'm living in a movie right now. I feel like I'm watching a movie about a girl who gets cancer. I don't feel like a girl with cancer. Update D2 Feeling very numb today And told my first friend Told Anne today And I kept it together Which is good But definitely just Still trying to process everything It's Monday, July 27th I have a huge doctor's appointment today where I'll be finding out hopefully some answers about where the lymphoma is. Sadly, it's my mom's birthday today, um, so I feel bad. Not the most fun and happy day for her. Today, I'm feeling a lot better mentally. I was able to tell a few more people. I was able to tell Hayden, who's like my brother, and we had a good conversation about it. I'm definitely getting better at telling people. I don't know why that's the hardest thing for me. I just don't want them to worry. I'm just so grateful to have the support system that I do. I'm still pretty numb today though. And I'm just trying to process everything. And <laughs> I had the guts to look up some stuff and none of it scared me, which is good because I'm just trying to better understand what's going on with my body and be able to ask the right questions to the doctors. So. That's really important. One exciting thing, I got a journal just because I think I need it for my mental health right now. I got this bright little pink journal so that it would brighten my day. And I also filled the front page of it with my photography and that I have in sticker form because they just remind me of these places when I was there and just happier times so yeah day three was okay um this week will be really interesting with all of my appointments and everything but um i'm feeling really optimistic and my mental health is doing good today so yeah that's my update on day three Day five update, I think it's day five. So I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, just going over some of my scans. Um, seeing my doctor tomorrow. I have to get coronavirus tested this weekend. This coming week is just gonna be a lot of tests. Bone marrow biopsy, a PET scan. After that, I'll be getting a biopsy of my lymph node. And I will be getting iron supplements through an IV, I don't even know because I'm super anemic. But by day five, I honestly just wanna get on chemo as soon as possible and just start getting the shit out of my body because I just feel little aches and pains starting to come on and I just don't wanna be in pain and I just wanna start healing. But we have to get all of these tests done to figure out more answers. So it's just a slow and grueling process right now but i have a lot of faith in my doctors that they'll get the right answers and that everything will happen in the right time so that's my day five update
lasers, of course. My arm is sore, but I didn't have any side effects, so that's good. Today's my biopsy day. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Post biopsy, I'm feeling really loopy and I cried the whole time. Not because of pain, just anxiety. <laughs> The nurses were so nice and <laughs> yeah, it went good though. Update, I have my PET scan today. I'm here in my recliner. I've been getting my radiation tracker infusion for the last hour. It sounds scary, but she said it's like a liquid x-ray. I just called Phoebe, that was great. The scan will take like 25 minutes, but honestly, it's 9 a.m. now and I want coffee and pancakes. That sounds so great. Update, I just got my PET scan today. It wasn't too bad. The first part took an hour and then I had to lay on the table still for like 25 minutes with my arms above my head, which was really exhausting, but I'm just happy to have the biopsy and the PET scan done because I'm just so exhausted and don't think I could do any more tests this week. When they did the infusion, they loved the IV in because I have an iron infusion later. So one less poke today, that's good. But I'm starving because I had to do a keto diet. But I got my favorite coffee in Portland, Just Bob Coffee. Shout out to Bob, he's the bomb. And I'm getting pancakes to celebrate my test being done this week. Thank goodness the PET scan doesn't have any side effects because I am still so sore from my bone marrow biopsy. But yeah. Oh, dad's coming with the pancakes now. Okay, peace out for now. Look at my pancakes. Oh my goodness. Just finished my last iron infusion. Yay. Happy that I finally have some iron in my body. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. It's currently Wednesday, August 12th. It's been a few days since I've filmed because I had a few days off from doctor's appointments, which was really nice. But today I have my lymph node biopsy and not very excited about it. At least this time I'll be going under for it instead of being sedated. Um, I just don't want to know what's going on. But yeah, I am starting to have mild fevers every day and I just feel so achy. Not very excited for today, but happy to have it done because we need to know the type. Wish me luck today. I'm so tired. My surgery got delayed two hours, but I get to sit here and watch little women and see sweet Timmy boy on the screen. Also, I look like a robot because they're keeping track of my fever with this little thing and I'm wearing this spacesuit that cools down my body. So, high tech. Also, I have cute socks. And if I had real money, which I don't. And these little like squeezy things. This the best scene. <laughs> I honestly just want pancakes and coffee again. It's just always what I want when I can't have food. <laughs> God, this is such a good moment. Timmy. Timmy. So it's one day post 
lymph node biopsy and I'm I'm feeling okay my neck is really stiff I've got a gnarly little scar going on it's pretty swollen they glued it though they didn't have to stitch it so I'm hoping that my scar is a little better because of that just been on a lot of medication today and pain meds to help me sleep because I'm just really uncomfortable right now I cried again from the anesthesia gets me every time I don't know why but I am just hoping for answers tomorrow from the biopsy they're able to take a whole lymph node out uh, which is good so hopefully they'll have enough to figure out what type of lymphoma it is but yeah I think this is gonna be the end of the first part of my lymphoma story I might start the second one when I figure out my whole diagnosis but thank you for watching thanks to all my friends and family who have been so so supportive so far i really appreciate all prayers and good thoughts and everything um because it's been it's been a weird one thanks for keeping up with my journey and i'll talk to you soon